Some fans are keeping their eyes to the skies for any clue on who will be the next head coach of Tennessee. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny has more on the search for Tennessee's coach at the airport. Well, as Vol fans just wait and tweet and look out on the horizon for any sign of who their next head coach is going to be, well, all their hopes and dreams, they take off and they land here at TAC Air. It's exciting because we do get to see when they arrive, but we don't have information ahead of that. Manager Grant Hawkins has worked at TAC Air for a couple of decades. He says the coaching search doesn't change their daily routine too much. We have seen an uptick of phone calls. As social media blows up, everybody tends to run out here and we have the look looky-loos that uh, stay at the fence. And Hawkins says fans aren't just staking out of the airport. They're tracking FAA flight plans using the plane's N number. An N number is an aircraft identifier. You can see it on the tail. Speculate, well, if this jet's going here, that's got to be a booster. Not necessarily true. Hawkins says trying to track planes online is a waste of time because pilots can ask the FAA to block their flight information. The important jets, you're not going to see on there. They can be blocked. It can be spoofed. That's right, spoofed. Flight plans do not have to be real. We have had people file fake flight plans just to get a rise out of the internet and make people speculate. Earlier this week, someone played a prank that really took off using the tail number of an old plane that used to belong to the University of Tennessee. So far as I know, it worked really well because people on the other end of that flight plan were actually calling to ask if that airplane was flying and that airplane doesn't even exist. That's why I say it's not even worth trying to track what's going on. And Hawkins says TAC Air is full of UT fans, and they're just as anxious as anyone else to see which coach will arrive here on a wing and a prayer. We speculate, we guess too, but we know we're going to find out when it actually happens. So it's, you're not going to get ahead of the game by sitting out at my fence and watching. And the folks here at TAC Air say it is okay to come out here and watch if you want to, although it's probably a waste of time. But what they do not want you to do is cross the fence. That's actually an FAA violation, a federal offense, something they've had a problem with in the past. Reporting from Alcoa, I'm Jim Matheny. We'll send it back to you. Well, that was fun, wasn't it?